Hello everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be looking at Brave, the mobile version. So this is a request from a subscriber or a viewer of mine. You can see the comment in the video here. So I did a desktop version video, but now I'm going to be doing a mobile version video. So this is the mobile version of Brave, if you hadn't known already. This is a review for 2023. And if you are a new person watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. So we're going to get right into the functionality of the mobile browser here. So this is what you're, the, the page you're introduced to here is your main home page and it shows privacy stats. So it shows how many trackers and ads were blocked. Yes, this comes with an ad blocker, which is pretty darn sweet. And it allows you to save up to 22 megabytes or more of data. This is just my starting out browsing history. And then there's also 31 seconds of time saved. So it also shows here all your visited page that you see here. Like this is just the pages that I have here right now. But we're just going to go over just the functionality of it. So if you click on the lion icon on the top here, it shows, well, I don't know what it's supposed to show here, but it's supposed to show something. If you click up here, this is Brave Rewards. So if you connect your Uphold account, you can start by earning BAT. This is sort of like their cryptocurrency style way to earn money. I've earned money before with the Brave tutorial about three years ago, and it has helped with a lot of things. So if you connect your account to the Uphold process, what it'll do is it'll take you to the Connect account, and then it'll take you right to the uh, Verify of the Uphold page. You can use Gemini, but it mainly uses Uphold. So it allows you to store and withdraw your BAT earnings, top up your account with BATs, and you can also send contributions to your favorite sites and creators. So if you go into your Uphold account here, it'll just ask you to authorize your wallet, and then this is what it'll tell you. So once you go through this setup, it'll then allow you to go through that. So if you see the lion icon press up here, the Brave Shields are up here. So basically it blocks ads of any kind that will go into the website. So if you feel that a site that you're going to is not secure, the Brave Shields will activate. So if this lion is grayed out, then it won't work. But if it's like this, then the shields will be put up. So the uphold, I'm going to make on another video. So I'm just explaining how the website is. So if you click on the home button down here, it takes you back home. And then your bookmarks button will be your bookmark saved. And then this is your search icon. And you just go and search up top. And then you can also press the QR code button here to scan a QR code. But we don't have a QR code with me, so we're not going to do that. And then this microphone services. So you can use that microphone to search for other things. So that's basically like pressing the microphone and searching for how to make a waffle in seven seconds or something like that. But we're not going to go through that. Basically, we're just explaining the functionality. So if you go here, you go and press here your two tabs. These show the tabs. You just press on the X to close them. And then you press the plus sign to open a new tab. And then, oh, nice wallpaper. It changes with the wallpaper. So the options are what you probably want to look for. So if you press the three dots, it gives you new tab, new private tab, if you're into that sort of thing. Ooh. Then you go to the history, the downloads, bookmarks, wallets, recent tabs, and settings, set as default browser. Brave VPN. Now, Brave VPN is their premium service, which includes a virtual private network. So if you have a virtual private network, then you don't really need this. But this is just for Brave VPN, where it keeps you anonymous. You can choose your geo country location, blocks unwanted connections, and then you can subscribe with a monthly subscription or a one year subscription. And the other options here, it supports speeds up to 100 megabytes per second, uses WireGuard secure encrypted VPN tunnel, and they never share or sell your info. And then you can choose if you want to subscribe this. It's powered by The Guardian, but we're not going to go through that. So we're going to go, you can see downloads here. It shows all the downloads that you've done here. And that's the amount of space that I have in my phone, 200 gigs. So it's pretty good. And then when you go back to the options menu, you can look at wallet. So it shows you, welcome to the new Brave Wallet, crypto assets in the custody and track portfolio balance, all right from your browser. And then it'll just ask you to get started and you can see your query crypto from there. So we're just not going to bother with that at the moment. That's if you want to set up your cryptocurrency settings there, if you are into the crypto scene.
So then if you go to recent tabs and it shows you all the tabs that you open, like nine tabs, and then it brings up all the tabs in the full history here, that sort of thing. And it allows you to access your history if you feel that you haven't been onto a page a certain time. So then you can also set as default browser. And it says here to improve your privacy, set Brave as a default browser. And you go next. And then it'll allow you to set it as the default browser. So it'll allow you to do that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go here again and then Brave Rewards. So Brave Rewards has already been explained about. And then basically it has you... It needs you to connect your Uphold account, which I will do in another video. So this way, total ads received this month, and then notifications, Brave News ads, and that's its own ads. So I think that doesn't count. So then what we're going to do next is we go to Brave News. So it says here, turn on Brave News and never miss a story. Follow your favorite source in a single feed. Just open a tab in Brave, scroll down, and it's ad supported with private anonymized ads and then it'll just ask you to turn it on if you want to but that sort of thing we don't really need to care about so we're just going to close out of these tabs here but what you can also do is press the three tabs and then you go to close all tabs easy as that but it also exits out of the browser hey a puppy cool so it says you're earning tokens okay so we're earning bat tokens and it shows how many tokens that you can earn and it says here you visited two creators supported by it is a two creators supported by brave rewards so you're just helping people out which is pretty darn sweet so then we go back to the options and then it shows here exit settings settings are here so it shows your brave shields of privacy news wallet and your firewall vpn brave services you can also select your search engines here so your standard tab is a search engine but you can also set it to google ecosia start page bing quant or duck duck go so that's your settings and then the private tab you can also change as well and then for your home page you can set your home page on or you can enter your own custom home page so let's say i wanted to enter something like google.com and then it'll go back and then when you go back to your settings there you can set your home page to google.com there you go so that way you can change your home page pretty easily and then your home screen widget, you can set a home screen widget on here so that way you can automatically open up your favorite web websites from your phone home screen. So we're not going to add that yet, but that's a function you can do. And then you can sync your bookmarks. So you can scan or sync a sync code, and then you can also start a new sync chain if you want to, if you want to sync your bookmarks. And then there's a password manager where it manages your passwords and such and such. And then there's also site settings where it shows you cookies, location, camera, microphone, motion sensors. It, it'll just ask you for permission to allow it. Augmented reality, virtual reality, Google sign in, local host access, Ethereum, and Solana, and all those other settings there. And then it shows closing all tab closes Brave. So if you don't want that to happen, you can just turn it off like this. And then open external links in Brave. You can leave that on. And that's your background play. Allow audio to play in the background when you switch to another tab or another app in your device is off. And then you can also adjust the appearance. And then they have here the Brave Wars icon, Brave Ads. And then there's also experimental night mode. And you can choose that next time you relaunch Brave. So we're going to relaunch it right now. And then we're going to use the experimental night mode here. So as you can see, Google.com is loading in night mode. That's pretty darn cool. And then we're just going to go back to settings. And then we're just going to go back to appearance. And then there's also disable sharing hub, only open links in current tab group. And then there's a theme. So there's a system default. And we're just going to select the dark theme here. Easy on the eyes. Just like you're watching this video right now, you're very easy on the eyes. Hell yes. So we're going to just keep going. And then there's the new tab page where it shows background images, widgets, top sites. You can leave those on if you want to. And then accessibility where you can scale the text to make it nice and big if your blind is a bad. Or you can keep it extra small just in case. But you just need to be able to read this comfortably. That's what I'm going to do here. So you can do text scaling. You can also force enable zoom, override a website's request to prevent zooming in, and also simplified view for web pages. And then there's also captions here where 
it will give you your captions menu and then you can just go show captions and then go from there and then you can also put in your options for captions if you want to see captions for audio and that accessibility helps out and then there's also languages so you can go and use brave translate which automatically translates your languages and then you can also add a language based on wherever country you are from so i have all these language i have english added for that but i can also put in another language if wanted to so i've already went to accessibility and then languages and then you can also use online checkout payment methods so you can add a card here which allows you to automatically populate the card and enter your nickname and expiration date and it also save and fill payment methods and then the next thing that you can look at here is addresses more so you can include addresses like shipping addresses if you want to buy packages or stuff like that if you want to go shopping on here and then you can also rate brave here and then in one emoji you can just go happy and then you can also leave a play store rating which we're not going to do right now and then it'll go about brave and it'll tell you the application version operating system build and also legal information here so open source license if you want to go through the legal information and that is it for that so that is the brave mobile website in a nutshell thank you so much for the request I do appreciate it and if you like this video leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more great content have a great day we'll see you next time for a new video bye bye